everybody, it's me, Jason Derulo. It is, it's recording. I mean, whatever. If it's not recording, I'll just kill myself. Simple. I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing mediocre. What else is new? So today I have a movie review for you for the movie God's Own Country. It's a story about two guys that uh, in excess share a lot of eye smiles, have a common love for cheese making, and uh, sticking their hands up a lot of animals' butts. God's Own Country is about a young farmer who numbs his frustrations with drinking and casual sex until a Romanian migrant worker sets him on a new path. This movie stars Josh O'Connor and Alex Sacco- uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a sack of shit. That sounds too American. Sorry? Josh O'Connor plays Johnny Saxby, our young farmer and protagonist who likes to drink a lot and uh, do the do the sex. And in comes Gheorghe, this Romanian hottie of, of, hold on, respect him. He is not a piece of meat. So a couple of things before I start this review. Number one, I am in no way, shape, or form trying to tell you how to view this movie or alter whatever opinions you already have about it. And that goes for all of my other reviews as well. This is purely my opinion. Second, this review is going to be split into two parts. But don't worry, because I will give you a second to click out of the video. Because much like a newborn being held by their mother for the very first time, I got you. I'd like to begin by saying that I just applaud these performances. I saw one interview of Josh O'Connor and was immediately surprised by the fact that he... <laughs> had a completely different accent. We meet Johnny at a time of his life where people have sort of come and went. He sort of just got used to being that transition person in people's lives. Another thing that I want to bring up, I and mean, it's not a spoiler, I don't think so. Obviously because it's set in a farm, there are some, you know, animals. There are methods and things that are done in this movie that had me questioning whether they were actually doing it. I don't know if I'm being dumb right now. Oh my god, I was gonna research if it was real or not. I was supposed to do that before starting this video. You know what, I'll do it right now. You know what, I looked it up and I think it might be a spoiler, so I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Another thing that I wanna mention about this movie, it's one of those um, movies that has an LGBTQ theme that doesn't circle around coming out. Listen, as someone who is also, you know, not straight, I think would be the scientific term for it, I know how important coming out is. However, being able to see films that don't center around simply coming out or sexual identity is so refreshing, and I thank Francis Lee for making this. All I really need is a good performance, a good setting, a good script. I don't ask for much. <laughs> God's Own Country, highly recommend. I hope you guys see it. And if you have, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. That said, here is the one second that I promised you before jumping into the spoiler-filled part. Hi, you're still here. To start this off, I just want to say that I saw God's Own Country twice. I mean, I don't think that there's a huge amount to unpack from God's Own Country. And if there's anything else that I've missed here, you are free to tell me about it in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. This movie is so incredibly intimate. Okay, I, if you... Uh, I'm trying to calm down. My god, the eye smiles that they shared. Through the helmets was oh god! I just wanted to squish them together into one helmet. They would both die, but what a beautiful death! <laughs> the scenes with food. Johnny didn't want to say anything. Okay, this is what I this is what I got from that scene. Like they were sat together, and Johnny has a little taste of the pasta, and he's like, mm, "Do I say something to Yoga, or do I just like?" Fuck him later. And Georg is just like, what's wrong, bitch? Like, I see. I know you. We've only known each other for like a week, but I know you. Because it's just so intimate. Like, I have said the word intimate 500 times in this video. Accurate number. I am math. And I love it. I, I love that it just breaks so many walls and there's like just immediate character development for Johnny and it doesn't feel rushed at all. All of this that's happening in Johnny's head, you can see through his acting, through his face, through his actions. The desperation, the silent wanting, the 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 healing that's finally happening to him when Jorge was there. That scene where he delivers the lamb. Jorge delivers this lamb. 
right, into the world. And Johnny was just like, oh, it's a runt. Like, I don't know why you're you're trying to save its life. It's going to amount to nothing. And in spite of all of that, he nursed it and cared for it, made sure it was warm enough. But that scene was so beautiful because it's so indicative of how Johnny views himself. He saw this runt, this good for nothing lamb and I don't know I guess he like sort of sympathized with it I remember watching that and, and just gauging his reaction and just seeing how amazed he is at the fact that you know what he thought was impossible was made possible suddenly he just watched him save another life and then slowly realized that Georgia was doing that to him too oh my god um Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> that whole scene with Georgia and the lamb, there was a lot of parallels between that and how his relationship with Johnny panned out. You know how he eventually had to let go of the, of the lamb, right? Because the lamb has to be nursed by probably another sheep in order to, to live its little lamb life. And that's essentially also what he did for Johnny. Like, he went into Johnny's life, showed him that, you know, there are all of these other ways that you can take care of the farm, there are all these other ways that you can you know, take care of your, your parents maybe, or deal with your family life, or deal with your life in general. And then he left. He had to let Johnny go. But the difference is that Johnny went back after him. Oh God, I'm not okay. The way that he holds Johnny, especially in their first sex scene, Johnny's just so, he was so finicky. Like he was shaking, but then Georgi was right there with him, holding his hand, and he was just taking his time, touching him asking to be touched and that there was just a lot of love and care there every scene that johnny has with his dad especially the latter scenes i just bawled i was <laughs> i was gone man i had to like sad quit it's kind of like rage quit except sadder overall rating for god's own country would definitely definitely and this is scientific uh the method at which i landed on the, this decision 50 lambs out of 40 like coming out of 40 lambs the sheep anyway that's my video uh thank you so much for watching if you've watched up until this point my name is noah if there are any other movies or shows that you would like for me to see and review also feel free to leave that in the comment section below or you could contact me on any of my social media uh listed up there i'm pretty sure or wait is it up here um say hi i usually say hi back and if i don't don't take it personally, I'm probably just waxing my asshole. <laughs>